This is our entryway, and it was really important to us to have the gold door so that it's about like opening the door and you know starting your Laker journey. What went into designing this place? You know, we had never had our own practice facility that we designed and had all the input into. We wanted a facility that would break down barriers between the business side and the basketball side. Where we were previously, we had grown um, so much that half of our organization was in one building across a parking lot and the other half um, on the other side. The courts are in the center of the building because that's the heartbeat. And literally when players are out here bouncing balls, it's almost like a heartbeat. What did Phil once tell you about your uh, blinds? Phil was always about the players need to see the trophies. Um, to inspire them so that they know what the journey is about and the ultimate goal, which is winning the championship. Certainly we've hung our 17 banners, so everybody knows there's room for more, but uh, it, it looks impressive. And then of course we've um, added the numbers of all the players who have been retired. And there's a, a light that shines on Kobe and you know his two numbers um, that never goes off. We always keep that light on. This is the video room. It was important that we had, you know, chairs that the players fit in, that they would be comfortable. Oh, super comfortable. It's kind of like a, a ride at Disneyland. So we have what kind of dubbed as the genius talks where we ask um, people like Denzel Washington and Dwayne The Rock Johnson to come and speak to the team. And this is where they come and, and do it, so uh, it's kind of fun. David Blaine. David Blaine and, did yep. it, yes, and he did. He like swallowed a frog and then brought it right. back up. It was crazy. This is um, a display of all Dr. Buss's rings. You know, back in the day, the NBA rings were all the same, and they would just change the year. Then Pat Riley said, I really believe that the rings should look a little different to reflect that year's journey. So the commissioner said, what a great idea, but now the teams have to pay for the <laughs> ring, so you can do whatever you want. So that was a big uh, change, and they tell a lot of stories. There's a lot of Easter eggs in every ring. What's a ring cost? Um, lots of money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now we can go into my office. Um, this is artwork by Ernie Barnes, who was a former football player. Okay. Who my dad loved as an artist, and he commissioned this particular piece of work that is now valued at, I believe, $15 million. You know, this is called Showtime. So this epitomizes the Showtime Lakers with Kareem and Byron and Coop and Magic and Worthy and Kurt Rambis playing against, of course, the Celtics in their green. And uh, you see Pat Riley here. You see uh, Jack Nicholson sitting over here. I always keep the Mamba mentality close to me. This is the one that Kobe signed for me. To Jeannie, thank you for your trust, your love, and your loyalty. You are a born leader. Be what you were born to be. There is nothing I wouldn't do for you and our family. You are a class act and an inspiration of always Kobe. That's amazing. So I always keep them close by to inspire me. And here are the the trophies. The trophies. This is the first for Dr. Buss's ownership. So there's 11 trophies here. Obviously, there's 17 championships. And, um, you know, like 
back in the 80s, my dad said, Jeannie, I, I really need you to find the trophy from um, the 1972 championship. So I searched high and low, I couldn't find it. It was driving me crazy. I'm like, oh, Jack Kent Cook must have taken it when he sold you the team, because I don't know where it is. And I find out years later that um, the trophy was actually like the Stanley Cup. In other words, if you won it in 1970, then you got it for a year and then you gave it to the next winner. A lot of people don't know that the NBA was actually founded by the NHL owners. And in order to promote the game, the champion who won the NBA regular season would play the Harlem Globetrotters, which I still want to do someday, have uh, a preseason game where we have uh, the Globetrotters play the Lakers. Okay. I think have it'll you, be fun. Have you tried to make that happen? Well, I, I talked to some players about it and they go, well, I just don't want that bucket of water to be thrown on me. <laughs> and I'm like, we could have fun with it.